game? Well, first of all, um, the respect that we have for San Diego State is uh, <clears throat> can't be any greater. You know, we've had some uh, great, great games, important games, championship or in the NCAA tournament. And there's a big difference between winning them and losing them. But believe me, although we've won a few in a row here, each of those games could have gone to their side. And uh, tonight was no different. So when you play them, you get better. You learn a lot about your team. And to win the championship here at uh, the Maui Invitational, you need great players. And you need players that rise up to a challenge. And these two guys right here, uh, they earned their all-tournament accolades by, uh, by their performance. Not their reputation, but, but how they played in these three games in three days. So we leave here uh, feeling very good about what we accomplished. I know we have a long way to go, but I feel like our team really took a next step grew up, improved, and that's what happens when you challenge yourself against this type of competition. We'll take question for, questions for the players now. Yeah, I'm Stanley, um, just being a freshman, are you kind of surprised at how quickly you've adjusted to the uh, college game? Um, um, I don't think I've fully adjusted yet, to be honest. Um, Still a lot of stuff that we do as a team that I'm not specifically good at yet. Um, I think I've um, gotten a lot better since I've got here. And I know me and Coach Miller had a meeting um, about halfway through season, and he just challenged me to get better every day. It missed a little bit, and I think I've been fulfilling that part of it ever since that meeting. So um, I still have a long ways to go as a, as a player on the team for little stuff that our team, our team need, knows about. Um, but I think I've got, definitely got better. Rondé, can you talk about the defense on both sides tonight? It was just, it seemed like just a real uh, battle out there. Um, well, uh, well, you know, uh, San Diego State, they're, they're a tough team, uh, great defensively, and uh, uh, we knew it would be a war out there tonight, and uh, our coach told us that from the beginning, but uh, we take pride in our defense, uh, and we all know that defense comes first, defense wins championships, and, um, and we just, you know, took our time out there, and we were patient. And um, that it showed out there. Yeah, for Stanley, you had a great block, um, about eight minutes left. Just talk about that play and how it, it may have kind of energized your team. Um, saw the guy going down the lane. Um, and we had five back fullback. And he stopped the ball, took a, I think, a bad shot. And it was in the air, so I just tossed it out of bounds. Coming down the stretch, um, you might not have adjusted to the game, but you've definitely adjusted to the, the spotlight in terms of having to hit those big free throws. And you had a lot of them at the end, and you stepped up with a lot of poise and just talk about that. Um, in practice every day, Coach Miller takes free throw shooting really seriously. If you talk, you run. So um, it makes it pretty easy to focus during practice. And if, once you practice so many free throws in practice, it's taking seriously in the game when it comes down to it. Just like he told me in practice, you come to the line, knock your free throws down, let's go the other way. Yeah, for Stanley, I noticed that uh, for large portions of the game, your mouthpiece is kind of hanging out. Is, do you even realize that you're, you're doing that? Or is that just a habit? Yeah, I, I just started wearing the mouthpiece this week. Um, so, and it's really hard to talk and sometimes hard to breathe, especially in a hot gym like this. So um, I need to be able to communicate on defense. So sometimes I'll take it out. At the beginning of the play, you know, we scout stuff. So if I see something coming, I'll say, oh, you know, watch out for this, that, and the other, and I'll put it back in. And during the play, I can kind of grunt and moan or something like that. And they can kind of, you know, see me coming through or whatever. But um, it's definitely not one of those things I'm, like, playing with something in my mouth. Like, it's, <laughs> it's something that I'm trying to talk. <laughs> hey, Stanley, I know you've been on a lot of big stages even before you came to Arizona. But how did this compare, uh, again, being at a freshman in, in such a big tournament and, and again, with the free throws and everything you did today? How'd it feel out there? Um, it, it doesn't compare um, what happened in high school. Um, this is a whole different type of deal here at Arizona. Um, the game is a lot more intense, a lot more energy used, um, a lot more effort. And at the end of the game, you come up short here, I mean, you go home with a really bad taste in your mouth. And um, I think our, all of our team has a lot of heart and a lot of leadership, starting from Coach Miller to TJ, to Brandon, to Caleb, to Rondé. And um, we have a lot of guys that don't like losing here. and. Um, that just helps me out, and I'm the same way. So as they go, I go, and um, I think they're doing a great job helping me out. Rondé, can you talk a little bit about what this uh, three wins in three days, the tournament title, 
what, where can you go from here? Where can this kind of propel you right now? Thanksgiving dinner. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, seriously. Um, uh, well, you know, it's great to win tournaments like this, you know, very prestigious, uh, great tournament to be at, you know, during this time. And uh, to come out with the victory is uh, big time, big time, definitely big time. And uh, I think, you know, it's, it's about the grind, you know. Uh, it doesn't stop here. You know, you win, you want to keep winning. So you got to go back to practice, keep working hard, you know, um, and just prepare for the next one. You know, you take it day by day, uh, get better, you know, honor the process, work hard, and, uh, you know, just enjoy it, man. You got to enjoy it. Reap the benefits, and then you got to keep moving. Any final questions for the players? Congratulations on a great tournament, you two. Uh, we'll let you join your team now. Now we'll take questions for Coach Miller. Yeah, Coach, um, just talk about uh, uh, Stanley, who was uh, obviously named the tournament MVP uh, for this tournament. Well, you know, we uh, we know Stanley very well. We we recruited him uh, really for a number of years. <clears throat> this past summer, I was one of his assistant coaches on Team USA under 18, and I learned a lot about Stanley uh, during that period of time that I feel like was helpful here, establishing a few things once he became a freshman at Arizona. When you have a player like him that is already given so many accolades before he ever plays a game or even practices, there's a fine line of bringing his talent along and at the same time teaching him. And I would say that over the last four or five weeks, Stanley, as a player in our program, has really become more of a student, like everybody else. He practices hard, makes mistakes, tries to learn from them. And that spurred him on to, I think, where he played in this tournament. If we would have played this tournament a month ago, he would not have been the MVP. But what I hope happens is a month from now that he's even more consistent on defense and some of the things that we're going to need him to be for our team to, to grow. So we're pleased with Stanley as much as anything because he's on the right track being very coachable, being a good teammate, and working hard. And that, that's really where it starts, especially with someone who has – the talent that he has as a freshman. Coach, can you talk about that same question I asked the players? Where, what can this uh, week mean for the team from here? Well, we're excited that we won this tournament. And sometimes over the long haul, uh, we're in a program with great expectations. I think we all have to be careful that we enjoy what we're doing, enjoy Maui, enjoy being here with each other, and enjoying this, this great moment that we have tonight, hard-earned uh, championship. Now, having said that, <clears throat> when we get back, uh, we'll have two games. We play Gonzaga next Saturday. So if we're, we're you know, not working to become better, uh, we'll find out right away what happens when we play that game. We also play Gardner-Webb, who I believe beat Clemson earlier. There's so much parity in college basketball. If we rest on our laurels, not improve the things we need, we won't continue to have the success that, that we had in this tournament. But we have a good group. You could sense Rondé and Stanley, both guys know how to win. And they, they came to Arizona in large part to try to, to win these types of things that we're in. So uh, from that perspective, we have a great group of kids, and we're, we're excited to, to move on. Final question for the coach. Sean, I was just wondering if you could elaborate a little bit on what you and Stanley were, were going for there, whether a lot of what you're, you wanted from him was uh, approach and attitude, things like that, or, or uh, more so than skills. I mean, you, could, you had said he was a, kind of a different attitude mm -hmm. starting the year. Stanley is a very intelligent kid, uh, played at modern day high school. Think about this. He won four consecutive California state championships. I think he's won three gold medals. And yet he never played in college. So he came to us very decorated as a winner. Um, I kind of let about six to eight weeks go, just trying to talk to him and watch him move through it. And then I think the meeting he's talking about was one of those where he needed to do a better job working every day. Uh, he, he didn't know how hard college basketball was. None of these guys do. But to his credit, 
like I said, over the last four or six weeks, he has really, really turned that part around. I think his teammates respect it a great deal. And all of a sudden, he plays like he played here. And uh, that's what happens when you honor the process, like we try to talk about. So he's doing a better job of making every day important, not cutting corners. And, you know, that's why he came to college, so that he, he gets better on and off the court. And I think he's really doing that. We have one more question in front here. Coach, you really stopped them the last eight, nine minutes of the game. I think outside those, those last two threes, they had one basket. Um, what, did you change something? Did you, did you notice some tendencies? What, what happened there? Did you guys just sort of dig in? No, um, we really didn't change. Uh, sometimes if you're a very good defensive team, and I believe we are, as the game wears on, it becomes harder and harder to score against you if you stick to what you do well. You know, Rondé Jefferson is, a, is an incredible defensive player. And once we got through not fouling, we didn't foul as much at the end as we did throughout. That helped us. And, you know, the storyline always goes both ways. San Diego State had a bad night from the foul line. They needed to make their free throws tonight. If they did, we might have lost. But as coaches, we've all been there. You know, you just in games like this, you need everything. And, you know, their, their free throw shooting certainly hurt them. That, that, nothing that we did.